So again, we're going to make a new tab, simplifying radical expressions. What you're going to do is going to make two lines, write in simplifying expressions, and then you're going to cut across those two lines, and then all the way down to make your tab. Again, if you have any issues with this, come see me. We're going to take a look at simplifying radical expressions and all that means it has a square root. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and copy the steps down. Pause it and copy the steps down. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and copy the steps down. All right, so let's take a look at an example. Example one, let's say we had the fourth root and that's represented by that four outside the square root um, of 16x5. Is it even? If it's even, you're going to put absolute value in the answer, but if it's in the answer, you're going to leave it out. Break down the number and the variables in the smallest terms. So just like we did before with the prime tree or the prime factorization, break down 16. So 16, I can break it in 4 times 4. Again, keep breaking it down to the prime number. So 2 times 2 and then 2 times 2 again. And just check it to make sure. 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. Perfect. So I can break 16 down into the prime root, so the prime factorization. So we're going to rewrite this as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's the 16. And x5 is how many? 5x's, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5x's, so it's broken down. Once you're broken down, how many do you need to make a book? The number outside is the number you need to write a book. So you're going to add that onto your notes. N is the number to make a book. It tells you how many of those you need to make one book. So four of them to make one book. So I'm going to count four, circle it, and take that outside the library one at a time. So I take a two out. So it makes one book outside. I need four of those. I've got one X outside. And then what do you have left inside? Just an X. And then remember, if N was even, you have to put absolute value. But if it's um, even on the outside, then you don't. But it's not even on the outside because it has one. So I do need to put the absolute value. So you do need to remember that last step. All right, so this one's not even because it's x to the power of 1, so you need the absolute value in there. If it was x to the power of 2, it's even, so you wouldn't need the absolute value. All right, let's take a look at another example. You get the hang of it the more, I, the more examples I do. So let's say we had the square root, and by the way, the square root is can be written as this or without that 2, but I'm putting it there so we can know what box it is. Is it even or odd? It's even. So remember, it's going to have absolute value in the answer unless... The answer has um, is an even number as well. So let's break it down. 81, just like we did with prime factorization. So we're going to begin with 81. We're going to break it down to 9 times 9. Break that down to 3 times 3, 3 times 3. So now I have four sets of 3s. Again, check your answer to make sure it's right. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. All right, so now you're going to rewrite it with a broken down part of it. So <clears throat> it's going to be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And then how many x's do we have? 8 of them. So 1, so count 8 basically. All right, once it's broken down, ask yourself how many books do I, how many do I need to make a book? So I need 2 to make a book. So that's what I need to do, take it out the library. So I'm going to circle every 2 times it happens and take it out the library. So I've got a 3 outside. All right, another 3 outside. An x outside, another x outside, another x outside, and another x outside. What's left in the library? Nothing. So everything's outside. So now let's combine terms. So 3 times 3 is 9, and then how many x's do I have? 4. Now remember, if it's even, you need absolute value, unless that um, exponent is even. If it's even, you don't put the absolute value. So that would be the answer, 9x to the 4. So if it was... Um, x to the 5, then you would put absolute value. So write that down. Since 4 is even, an even number, you don't put absolute value in the answer. Alright, take a look at another example. Example 3, let's say we're breaking down the square root of 845 x to the 4th power. And remember, I told you that you can write uh, square root just like that without the number outside. But we're going to rewrite it the number outside so we know how many books to take out. So I'm going to write a 2. So square root is automatically always a 2. All right, so again, break 845 down. All right, remember, um, if it ends with a 5 or a 0, I know 5 goes into it, just in case there's a notes for it. So I know 5 times something is 845. So I'm just going to do long division to figure out what that is. So 
it goes 169 times. Now we're gonna break down 169 times. I know that's 13 times 13, but if you don't, you'd have to find out what it is. Um, so five times 13 times 13 is gonna be 845. This is a listening check. This is a listening check. Double underline the word radical in the title. Double underline the word radical in the title. So write it down, broken down. So 845 breaks down into five times 13 times 13. And then x to the four is x four of them. So x to the four. All right, again, now we're taking books of two. So I need, break down the number as well. How many books do you need? I need two. It's gonna make a book. Take each book out the library one at a time. So I'm gonna circle the two of 13s. That makes one book. So one book outside. Uh, that's an x outside and another x outside. What's left inside? Just the five. All right, so then combine like terms outside. So it's going to be 13x squared um, square root of 5. All right, then again, remember to check that n. Was the n even? Yes. Then you need absolute value in the answer, but not if that's, if it's even outside. So it's even outside, so I don't need absolute value. Again, if it's even outside, it's x to the second power. It's even outside, I don't need it. If it wasn't even, I would need absolute value. All right, another example, negative x to the 6 power y to the 11th. Okay, this one's a very special idea. You have to take that negative out first. Okay, so I'm going to separate it. So it's going to be the cube root of negative 1 and then x to the 6th, y to the 11th. Because negative 1 three times will give you negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So when you go the other way backwards, it's still going to be a negative outside. So break it down as usual. Um, so if it's even and odd, this time it's odd. So we don't have to worry about absolute value. So when you finish the problem, don't worry about absolute value. So it's going to be a negative 1 outside. And then you're going to break down x to 6. 6 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 11 y's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 y's. All right, now we're going to take, how many do we need to make a book? So we need 3 to make a book. Take each book out at one at a time. So we're going to circle three at a time, and that's going to be a book. So we'll have negative one outside, and then there's one x, there's another x, there's a y, there's another y, there's another y, and we have two y's left inside. So you're just going to write that in as two y's. All right, once you've done that, again, just like normal, combine like terms. So we're going to have negative, and then how many x's do you have? Two of them, x squared, y, three and then y squared inside. Now, we don't have to worry about absolute value because it was odd in the first place. So we don't have to worry about absolute value. We're just gonna leave it as it is, and that's our answer. Okay, so it's a special case when you have a negative inside. Um, you have to actually think backwards. All right, example five. The fourth root of x to the nine and y to the fourth. All right, so is n even? Is the number outside even? Yes, it is. So we, might, we have to have absolute value unless the exponent is already even outside. Then you don't. So let's break it down. How many x's do I need? Nine. So count out nine x's. How many y's do I need? Four. So count out four y's. All right now, remember how many do you need to make a book? All right. So I need four because that's the exponent outside. Take one out at each other time. So we're gonna circle four and take it out. One. That's an x outside. Circle another four. That's another x outside. Uh, x remains and the y's. So inside we still have one x. All right, then it says combine like terms. So outside we're going to have x squared because x times x, x squared, y, and then the fourth root of x. Now remember it was even so we need to have absolute value unless it's even outside. So x squared is even so no absolute value there. But y isn't. y is the power of 1 which is odd. So we need absolute value with y and then everything else is the same. So x squared absolute value y and the fourth root of x. This is a listening check. This is a listening check. Circle every answer for every example. Circle every answer for every example and shade it in. So again, is it even or odd? It's even. So there's absolute value in the answer unless it's already even outside. Alright, so let's break it down. So it's going to be 4x's and 5y's. And this time we need books of what? What needs to make a book? How many needs to make a book? Four. So I need to circle four and that's one book. So circle four, so that's an x outside. And circle four of the y's, that's a y outside. What's left inside? Just one y. 
so the fourth root over y. Now remember it was even, so we need absolute value unless it's already even outside. Both of those are odd because it's x to 1, so we need absolute value for both. This is a listening check, this is a listening check. Shade in example 6. Shade in example 6. The box around example 6. And that's it. So let's practice. 